Hey, thanks for watching this video. There's more at Embark Online. You can tweet me, and there is the pie guy. All right, this is first grade module five, lesson two. And in this lesson, students are going to be adding a new shape to their repertoire, to their little vocabulary toolkit. We're going to be adding a trapezoid to uh, our vocabulary. Of course, we're also going to be talking about a rhombus. And uh, we're also going to be talking about the square as being a, a special rectangle, or really also a special rhombus. But we'll talk about that later. Now, here's the key thing about that trapezoid. Now, a lot of parents and teachers think of a trapezoid as a figure that has exactly one pair of parallel lines. Eh, that is one way to define a trapezoid, but in Eureka Math, we're going to be defining it a little bit differently. We're going to be defining a trapezoid as a figure that has at least one pair of parallel lines, which means a square, meaning it has two pairs of parallel lines is also a trapezoid. Now, don't let that freak you out. So a trapezoid for right now, this basic figure right here that you're looking at, is a trapezoid because it's got at least one pair of parallel lines. And of course, here's a hexagon, here's a rhombus, and of course, we all know what a square looks like. So let's get started. All right, so our directions. Color the sh shapes using the key. So if it has three straight sides, it's going to be colored red. So let's see, three straight sides. Well, there and there. Do we have any other threes? Yeah, actually, if we wanted to call this a three, there you go. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, blue is uh, four straight sides. So what is four straight sides? Well, here's a trapezoid, and here's a rectangle. Here's a rectangle, and then here is a rhombus. How about green? Six straight sides. We got this hexagon right here, and then the yellow would be um, zero straight sides. So we've got a circle here and a circle there. And of course, then we would fill in our, our little answers. Three straight sides had three figures, four straight sides, had four figures, six straight sides, had one figure, just that one lowly hexagon right here. And then how about zero yellow si uh, straight sides? And of course, that answer is two. We have two circles. All right. So a triangle has how many straight sides and how many straight corners. So parents and teachers, let your students kind of just grapple with all of this vocabulary. Let them practice. It, there's a lot of great games that you can play that allow students to sort these figures and just repeatedly practice using that new vocabulary in the context of a game. So go ahead and play games if that's more fun than doing this homework. Teachers, especially you teachers, let's help our, our academic English language learners. And if you really think about it, all of our students, especially at first grade, are academic English language learners. So let's utilize all that best practice for language learners and make a word wall with pictures and a, a cognitive content dictionary and all that sort of stuff. So. A, a triangle has, let's see, it has three straight sides and three corners. Remember, we could call that a vertex if we wanted to. And I colored how many triangles? Well, we colored three triangles, didn't we? A hexagon has six straight sides and six corners. Now, parents and teachers, we want students to be recognizing that that number, those two numbers are often the same. I don't know if there's ever a different, well, I, if there's a curvy side. Um, so we want students to start recognizing the pattern. And of course, we also want them to recognize that they only colored in one hexagon. And then a circle has zero straight sides and zero corners. And we colored in two circles. And the last slide for this video, a rhombus. Remember what a rhombus looks like? So that's the idea, parents and teachers. In this lesson, we're really just kind of using this as an excuse to help our students practice 
remembering what these figures are. So a rhombus is a shape that has four equal sides, kind of like a square, but it doesn't necessarily have to have those right corners, those, those square corners. And so it has, let's see, four straight sides, and it has four corners. And I don't remember how many we shaded in on that previous slide, but I'll let you guys go back and figure it out. Now, question six says a rectangle is a closed shape with four sides and four square corners, all right? We kind of talked about that up here, that a rhombus doesn't have to have four square corners. Cross off the shape that is not a rectangle. Well, let's see. This is not a rectangle because it's not closed. See, it's got a little opening there. So we're going to cross that guy off, and that leaves everything else is a, a rectangle. Even this guy that looks like a square, that's a rectangle. Even this guy, a lot of kids might call that a diamond, but it's a square. Um, so um, even those are called rectangles because a, a rectangle has to have four straight sides and four square corners. And the last, a rhombus is a closed shape with four straight sides that are the same length. So which one of these guys is not a rhombus? Does this have four sides with the same length? Yep. Does this have four straight sides that are the same length? Yep. How about this one? Yep. Oh, this guy. That guy's the guy that gets crossed off because these little sides are short and this side is long, so makes it not a rhombus. And that wraps up first grade module five, lesson two. We're adding a couple of words to our vocabulary toolkit. Hey, don't forget, subscribe to my account. Woohoo!